Hi all, this is Adam from U Image Optimizer with a tip today on setting up a custom CDN name. Uh, now, what is that and why would I want to do that? So when you set up uh, EasyIO, it starts serving your content, uh, specifically images and more if you set, let it, um, from our CDN, uh, which can drastically improve performance and speed. Um, what that looks like is this is your specific CDN domain name, whatever you would have here uh, for EasyIO. Um, it's this e followed by .exactdn.com domain. Uh, we can see this if we look at our site. If I go to the site, I've opened up a page and I inspect an image. I can see that my images have that, like be helpful if I open it in a new tab, have that domain as where they're coming from. Not, It's not coming from our site domain. It's coming from the EasyIO domain. Um, <clears throat> so, but it's also not terribly pretty and it also doesn't have anything to do with our domain. So what you can do to uh, address that is set up a custom domain. There's a couple of steps to doing that. The first thing to do is to go to the eu.io manage sites page where you will see your site URL and your CDN domain name. There's this little option here that says add a custom host name. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to ignore this top section for just a moment while we say, okay, what do we want that custom host name to be? Normally it's something related to your domain. It can't be your domain. So I couldn't just put in alternate rules.com, which is the domain I'm working on. Um, it has to have something before it or something um, that reference it. It could be something like media dot alternate rules. Or it could be uh, things, or it could be CDN. Uh, let's do CDN. Uh, that's a good place to start. So we're going to say we want it to be CDN alternate rules.com. I'm not going to click add yet because of these things that I said we're going to come back to. To point a host name to these servers, we have to create a CNAME record in our DNS record. Now that can be the confusing part if you haven't done anything with DNS before. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to say, we want this to point to this. It's just kind of, um, it's kind of like putting a mask on. We want this to mask the CDN URL uh, domain that we're going to have it point to. So we're going to copy that and then we're going to go into our DNS records. Uh, I happen to be on Bluehost. Um, and if I go down to my CNAME here um, and click on add a record, um, so I'm going to put in that new custom name that I had and I'm going to add the point to what I copied there. So you can see it's that E blah, 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 B C D N B dash C D N dot net. All right. And um, we're going to go ahead and hit save. It is saved and you can see it's verified that it is here and now we will go back to the manage sites page and hit add and it's going to give us a warning that says oh did you disable easy io on your site no i haven't disabled easy io on my site so let's go disable that first deactivate that we're not deactivating the plugin we're just deactivating easy io save changes just to make sure everything is there now it has been deactivated i can verify this i'll refresh this page we can see that the url has gone back to our, or the domain has gone back to our um, home domain. So it is now not using the CDN to serve that image. And now while it's deactivated, I will go back in and press add. Yes, I did disable it, press okay. It's gonna think about it for a little bit here. It's gonna say, hey, are your DNS records set up? Did you go and do all of those things you were supposed to do? Um, we'll just give it a minute while it thinks about all of that. And then it will say, Yes, it did it. Yay. We can then close this. We'll go back to our page. We will activate, again, not deactivating the, the plugin. We're just activating EasyIO. It is all done. We're going to press Save Changes. Make sure it is. And you can verify it is now using your custom domain for your CDN. We can also verify on the site. I'm going to refresh this. My image is coming from, as you can see, maybe it'll be helpful if I do this, cdn.alternaterules.com. 
Um, so anyway, that's a quick tip on just how to um, add a custom host name to your CDN. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And as always, happy optimizing.